Welcome back to first sessions of the introduction to Cesium JS in the JS World Academy with one of the Cesium certified developers. In this tutorial, I'm gonna tell you all you need to get us started with 3D visualization. We will talk about what is Cesium JS, why we should learn it, and what are the key features of this great tool. At the end of this video, we will create our first Hello World app with CCMJS. If you are excited, let's get started. CCMJS is an open source JavaScript library designed for crafting dynamic 3D globes and maps within web browser, harnessing the power of WebGL for optimal graphical performance, creating interactive and dynamic 3D maps, and finally, advancing web technology for geospatial 3D data. Why learn Cesium JS? A significant participant in geospatial applications providing functionality in mapping, data visualization, and simulations, adaptable to diverse data formats such as 3D tiles, trains, imagery, and so on. We will cover all of them in, this, uh, in different videos in the Cesium JS series of tutorial. Develop expertise in a technology widely employed across various industries as a developer. And finally, as an open source project, you have the opportunity to contribute and gain insight from a community of the developers. What are the key features that makes Cesium JS a powerful tool? The first one is high performance. Using WebGL makes your application run smoothly and look great, ensuring they respond quickly. Geospatial capability. Using geospatial data for advanced maps, useful in the field of geospatial information system, remote sensing, and also photogrammetry. Works everywhere, cross-browser compatibility. So your application will work on different web browsers without dependency on any type of gadget. And finally, one of the amazing part of Cesium JS is open source. It gives you a good opportunity to access to a large community and continuous developments. Use case of Cesium JS. The first thing is that utilizing Cesium JS for simulating scenarios, conducting training exercises, and enhancing situational awareness in defense and intelligent contexts. Agricultural precision. Apply Cesium JS in agriculture for precision farming practices and continuous monitoring of crop conditions. Also, visualizing agrivoltaic panels can be part of it. Urban planning, urban redevelopmental projects. Employ Cesium JS to visualize city models, for example, such as city GML data, aiding urban planners in making informed decisions and creating more efficient urban spaces. And finally, from my point of view, one of the most important one, educational engagement. Enhance the learning experience by integrating Cesium JS into educational content, allowing for interactive exploration through 3D maps. I think now it's enough for telling you what are the advantages of the Cesium JS. Now it's a time to get our hand dirty in a code. First of all, we will talk about how we can add Cesium JS in our project. After that, we will set up a simple HTML page. It is just a copy paste. Don't worry about it. 
Finally, you will make your first Hello World app with the Cesium.js. It is super, super easy. Yes, welcome to the jury of Cesium.js. Now it's time of coding. To start our coding, first of all, we need to open the Cesium website, maybe getting started with the Cesium.js. So for the first link that you see, Cesium.js, click start. Okay, now we have a great documentation regarding how you want to start your first applications, how you want to create your first applications with the Cesium.js. It is a really great website, it has a very great documentation, tutorials, live codes. Uh, we will customize all of our mini projects, customize all these codes according to our mini projects. Okay. The first step, you need to create one account and after creating one account, uh, you will get, <clears throat> sorry, uh, you will get one access token. So uh, when you create it and then log in again to the CZM, here will be automatically filled. Uh, but right now we don't need it. Uh, just I will copy it because I want to just run it as a starting point. So, file explorer, great, C drive, YouTube, CCM code. So, this is my folder structure, CSS image JS. I just want to open it in the Visual Studio code. Perfect. Now we are in the Visual Studio code editor. You can use anything you want any type of editors, whatever you want. I'm really good with Visual Studio Code, so I will prepare it for my coding. Then index.html, we need one index.html code. I will paste it, reformat my code, great. In the head part, you will see these are the CDN of the Cesium. And here we have one div. In this div, we have one ID custom container, which is connected uh, to the JS codes that it has been already written in the CDNs and called in our code. Again, we have another simple script, so simple JS script. So here it is Cesium Iron. Uh, right now, I don't have it definitely in the production mode, we need it. But right now, because we are just for the visualization, we don't need it right now. So here we are creating one object as a viewer, and then it is past the uh, word train, uh, which is coming from the CZM ion. So in this, in this case, if you don't have the CZM ion access token, so we cannot load the train. And after that, here is the flying component, so it will go directly to the place that uh, it will get uh, the location. We will give the location. To the, we will talk about everything, uh, what is the heading, and so on. Then after that, again, we are creating another object. This object will be generate all the buildings from the OpenStreetMap. Uh, yeah, sorry, uh, OSM, yeah, open the street map, yeah, you know, perfect, and then uh, we have now calling this view, and then we are focusing on this file, perfect, now maybe we can run it, I'm using this extension as a live server, if you are, uh, if you are new with Visual Studio Code, just, you should type live server, yes, you can see that, oh, amazing, it is more than 40, 3 million inst installed. Wow, great. Okay, but we will back to our code. Then right click, open with live server. Yes, perfect. There you go. It looks really nice. Yes. Then you can see that it's not responsive and I don't like it. <laughs> Just, just add some more codes and we will finish this part of our tutorial. I will add style.css and after that I want to say all the tags 
and also the body tags so for all of them margin should be zero heading should be zero and uh, i think it was a box sizing it should be border box great so with this part of the code uh, you are saying that all the paddings all the margins of any components in your html code should be zero and also i think we have one id why not you can use it and i want to say that for this id please make the height of is div to 100 percent of vertical height okay control s anything else that we should do yes and also we should add it in the head part so i need one link in this link i want to say go to the css folder style.css it's done i hope it works yes there you go perfect yes we can see it and maybe also maybe we can check restoot sorry restoot guard cd that i'm leaving right now okay yeah it works really good it looks really proper and you can see everything in the 3d mode i will add also <laughs> this simple very simple code also in the uh, one git repo so you can also have access to that and uh, yes it was all thanks a lot for your time to be with us until the end of this video and if you have any further questions don't forget to comment it in the comment section below we will answer it we will answer them as soon as possible so see you all in the next video bye